It seems like there's a lot of people out there who don't actually fly planes. They've been watching my e-bike video series and they want to start flying planes or drones or I hate the word drone. I hate it with a passion. They're not drones. Drones are something completely different. Multi-rotors. Please don't call them drones. Um, anyway, I don't fly uh, multi-rotors anymore, quadcopters or anything, because of the stigma attached because of that name beginning with D. So, I only fly planes now. Now, this is the, the main kit that you need to start off with. If you want to do FPV, of course. If you just want to do line of sight, you only need one bit. This is the Free Sky Tyrannis uh, radio, which has got all sensor gimbals in it, which I upgraded uh, not long ago. And it's had very, very little use. It runs on 2.4 gig. And I've also got an easy UHF module, which is 433 meg for long range, which I use on most of my things, actually. Um, but for little planes, I only use the, the 2.4 gig. Cheap as you want. These things are like, if you want something that you can do absolutely everything with, get the Tyrannis. If you want something that you want to... If you're an Apple fan and you just want everything to work, buy something like a Spectrum. But you've also got the Fly Sky. You've also got, there's loads of different models. As long as long as it's got more than six channels, you're fine. Cheap as cheer, cheap and cheerful, you're fine. Um, anyway, I've had this. It's not that expensive. I've had it for. Uh, about six months this one, my last one broke because it was probably my fault because I mess around with it. Um, in here I've got a LiPo battery that I use to power it because it's far better, it lasts a hell of a lot longer. When I can get the case back on, there you go. Um, these are FPV goggles. Now these are the Fat Shot Dominator 3s, uh, which are expensive, but they work fantastically. You basically you've got a module, a module that you plug in there. This is actually on 1.3 at the minute, and all you do, if you want to change it to 5.8, you just take that out and put another module in. So, which I've got somewhere in my box. I've actually put everything away and I haven't used it for God knows how long, so uh, battery, all you do is you plug that in, that's for the top fan to stop the goggles from fogging up, so you put the battery in and you can't see anything through there because there's no signal, so that's that. Um, you can use monitors uh, if you want to fly FPV, you can use anything you want basically. Where's that thing I've got? I've also got, there it is, this thing here, this is a fantastic bit of kit for setting, uh, setting things up. Um, <coughs> when I can get the aerial out, I don't know why the put them in that bloody box. This here plugs into your phone. So I've had to put a USB 3, uh, micro USB to USB C adapter on there, that thing, because my phone is USB C. Hang on. So all you do is you plug it in, you plug it in, and then it becomes a monitor. So now my phone is actually a monitor. Um, to scan through the channels, you can either press it once and it'll go through to the next channel. It actually goes up in megahertz, or two megahertz times, uh, is it? Yeah, or you hold it down and it'll scan through all the channels and find if anything's on 5.8. I find this thing invaluable for actually um, for testing your FPV gear before you actually um, take it out because plugging your goggles in it's just I don't like doing that anyway and then that's it 
<laughs> so those, I think they're only about 15 quid. They're brilliant. I can't be asked. So that's that. Um, I bought a box. There's nothing in it, it's just a box. I just thought, I, I like boxes, you see, so I thought I'd buy a box. Um, in it is loads of new stuff because I've had to buy loads of new stuff because all my old stuff, I, I don't know, what it's just outdated now, believe it or not, and it's only 12 months old. Um, I've got the Runcam Micro, if I can get in it. Why do they put them in these bloody boxes? I hate the damn things. I've got a couple of Runcam Micros. Um, what is it now? The Micro... Micro... Blah. Don't know. I've got these from Unmanned Tech. Two of them. What is it? The Micro... Oh, I don't... Yeah, like Micro Swift too. So I've got, I've got two of them. I've got six of the Emacs ESO8 um, ESO8 A2s. They're not Metal Gear, but I want I want the weight um, saving on them. Uh, I don't need the Metal Gears on what I'm building. Um, these are the uh, what are they? Free Sky, the XS. I think they are the XS. Free Sky XS receivers, which are minute. These will do full range, you know, like they're on 2.4. Anyway, they've got the EU firmware on it, which I'm going to have to flash it to, um, is it LBT? It's actually Listen Before Talk firmware that's on it at the minute, and I've got to flash it because my Tyrannis won't actually work with these. So that is your radio, uh, your control receiver, and these are absolutely minute, as you can see. Anyway, so I've got there's two of them in there somewhere, and an Omnibus F3 Nano. I've got two of them. They've got on-screen display. They run iNav. iNav. Uh, which is a flight controller software. This is a oh, this is a flight controller. This will basically control your plane, and if you put a GPS it, uh, it to it, it will do return to home. It will basically do everything. Fantastic piece of kit for the size of them. Um, I know there's an F4 out, but these are cheap, and that's what I've got because I was skinned. Well, sort of skinned. Um, Receivers. There's one. There's the other one. Two receivers. And these are I can't remember. Eshin. Yeah. These are an Eshin 48 channel 5.8 uh, 5.8 200 milliwatt receiver. I got these because they've got a right angle. What sits for the antennas on it already, so as I can put it straight through the wing and it'll pop out the top, and I can just screw the antenna on the top. That is for transmitting the video data to the goggles, and the camera plugs into that to receive your image, and then that transmits to the goggles. Yeah, glad I cleared that one up. Um, oh, and this also has an on screen display. Uh, so you plug, sorry, get this right, you plug that camera into that and then out of that camera goes the transmitter, the transmitter transmitters, tra transmitters, <laughs> transmitters the image to the goggles. I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll try, I suppose, I mean this is just a very very quick overview. It's just the stuff that I've got, really. I'm not, I'm, I, I am going to go into detail in, into what does what and how it does it, if I can explain it. 
hopefully you've had an oversight on what stuff we've got. Also some servo cable, uh, different thicknesses. That's going to be for the servo, this is going to be for the VTX video transmitter receiver and everything else because it's, it's thinner. Um, there's other bits and pieces I need, like I've got the batteries, I've got the power connectors, I've got the... what else? Well, that's it. Is it? I don't know. And then I'll go on to the battery charger and everything when I've got round to it.